just wanna be me Blue face bands to the bank, I'm a kiki Shitting on hoes cause I can't and it please me I always knew I would be rich I came from the bottom, now I'm at the top of their list Like, we really do be with people for a reason, season, or lifetime. I don't give a motherfucker no reason to not like me, to feel some type of way. It's just never to the point where it's like, Like, I hate this Ugh, I hope she lose it all. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna just keep it a buck. I did just go see this dude. Um, he was giving kink energy, but he kind of just got me like, I don't know. I'm kind of just motivated to do a video, pretty much. I'm motivated to do a video. I'm feeling inspired. I'm feeling good about myself. I got my hair done. I'm the baddest chick and they don't call me that for nothing. No. Diamond. Got my motherfucking hair cut. So, yeah, it's just giving what it needs to give. On the Friday, I got them staring like I'm near right. I don't fuck with nobody. So, it don't be no it don't be no reason for people to fuck with me, like, if that makes sense. Like, I don't be doing shit. For bitches to be mean and jealous. Yeah. Yeah, let's get into that. Let's get into that. And I'm not going to say that I'm perfect. Because obviously, y'all, the lighting is kind of, it kind of switched up. But yes, y'all. So, like, on some real shit, I don't do shit for a bitch to be pressed, to have an issue with me or none of that. Like, I really, really don't. I be in my own bubble. You feel me? I be quiet some of the times, like, unless I'm really, like, Bitches just did not like me because, like, of the gifts that God gave me. My appearance, the car I drive, just my spirit, how I'm just so calm and how I have an anointing on me. That people just don't like that. My light irritates people demons. Or, like, because of how God has blessed me in my life. Like, and it's like, yeah, although I have been, you know, been blessed and stuff, I have been through a lot of dark shit, too. So, it's just like... I guess I had to go through some dark shit to even get to some good shit. Like, so I'm gonna give y'all a little example. I'm gonna give y'all a little example. I had a best friend a long time ago. We kind of had grew up together, you know, kind of like childhood friend, pretty much a childhood best friend. So, um, we was cool, and we was kicking it, and everything was good until we started to get a little bit older, and. I guess the jealousy had came out and um, we kind of had stopped talking like we really wasn't i wouldn't say we was beefing but we was not talking like how we used to and shit was just not the same like how it was i was told by um one of his friends too that he was like jealous of me because of like the car that i had he was jealous of me because of my job that i had like in a sense, he wanted, like, my position, in a sense, for lack of better words. Like, I don't think he wanted my life. I think he just wanted some of the shit that came with my life, like the good job, family, maybe some family things. Um, or he just maybe just wanted what the fuck I had, you know, job, maybe a car. Or he felt like he should have been, like, where I was at. But it had just fucked me up because he was my best friend. Like, always riding with me. You know, that's my nigga. Riding with my twin and um, and we all look good as fuck. Like we going out places together, you know. I'm not asking for no gas money. You know, I give him like, I help him out, you know, and he helped me out, you know. So like, but it started to be like not an equal exchange. I started to give more than I was receiving. So, with that being fucking said, you know, stuff just started getting like, okay, like we getting older, and also I feel like that reason season lifetime shit is like so real. Like, we really do be with people for a reason, season, or lifetime. So, that you got to take into consideration as well. Because everybody is not meant to be with you in every every season or phase of your life. To look at it as a blessing. Like, be grateful that these people are being removed from your life. Don't sit here and pray, oh God. I ask that you remove all the negative energy and negative people. People who don't serve me from my life. And not expect him to answer that like bitch he heard you like he doing it they are being removed before this next season of your life of what's about to come be loved and stop being mad let that shit go yeah that had me fucked up or whatever to sum it up i was not doing shit i was literally living my life you feel me i was chilling i was doing me i was not hurting nobody i was not harming anybody 
I was just doing me and motherfuckers had a problem with that. And that situation just hurt me because that was really like my best friend. Like really loved the fuck out of him. Like still do love him. It's all love. It would never be nothing but love. But it just had me fucked up because it's just like, damn, we done been through so much shit. You know, this, that, and the third. And like, why are you jealous of me? Like we've been friends for too long. Like, been so long. He's been on. But obviously, it didn't have nothing to do with me. It had everything to do with him. Just overall, like, I don't give a motherfucker no reason to not like me, to feel some type of way. I don't I don't give nobody, like, none of that. And I, I'm not saying I'm perfect. Yeah, I can make motherfuckers mad. Yeah, I can piss people off. I'm going to run you out of Atlanta like Philly, bitch, in Miami, bitch. You got to see me. Don't touch me. You know what's going on. You know, this, that, or third. But it just, it's never, it's just never to the point where it's like, Like, I hate this I hope she lose it all. Oh, damn, bitch, you're jealous of me. Or, you know, you want to harm me, bitch, or you want to hurt me, you know, or some shit like that. Like, like I swear y'all really be minding my bitch. Bitches be pressed. I just don't get it. Bitches just be fucking pressed, and I don't even be doing shit. I just be living my motherfucking life. Bitch looking good, eating good. I'm so gifted, look good, sound good, taste good. Each and every day I hustle hard. Ace hood, baby, I'm a star. Like, I just be chilling. And I'm just a nice, genuine person. Like, if you need help with something, you know, if you need a ride, bitch. If you need some advice on something, like, people can always go to me for things like that. All my life, I just dealt with being, like, the odd one out, pretty much ostracized from the group. Um, you know, I've just always dealt with that. And honestly, I'm just realizing each and every day, bitch, it's nothing wrong with me. Like... Because all of those situations, you know, the bullying, the jealousy, the envy, the, you know, me being taken advantage of, all that shit, it literally makes me feel as if, like, it's something wrong with me, bitch. And it's literally absolutely nothing wrong with me. Like, it's not. Like, yeah, I got some issues that I need to work out. <laughs> ah, no way. Uh, no, I gotta take You know, I do. But, bitch, it was never to the point where I'm just need to be anxiety-ridden. I need to be, um, you know, depressed. I need to be overthinking every fucking step of my life. I need to be confused or just, you know, fearful about how a bitch feel about me or stuff like that. It never, you know, it, it should have never gotten to that point with me. Like, it should have never been that bad. Like, so, yeah. I just be realizing each and every day, bitch, it's nothing wrong with me. And all these different situations, when the devil was operating in these people, in the spirit, because it's always spiritual, it's never the person. It's always the spirit just working in them. It just had me in a period where I'm just really trying to figure out, like, what the fuck is my problem? Like, is it me? Bitch, is it them? Like, really trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Just all of that was so unnecessary. In my life, me feeling ugly, me feeling like I'm not good enough. Just all that shit, bro. It's nothing fucking wrong with me. Sum this video up, bitch, it ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm the baddest chick and they don't call me that for nothing. Nope. It ain't nothing wrong with you. And I know some people can relate to this because there's a lot of just good people out there who really just be chilling, living their fucking life and shit, and then bitches want to come and disturb the fucking peace. It's always a bitch that's going to want to disturb the peace. It is. And you really just gotta be able to weed them hoes the fuck out. Cut hoes off as need be. Cause they really be them people. And other people insecurities, you know, just the company you surround yourself with can really be, you know, what got you feeling the way you feeling. Like feeling fucked up and shit. So damn, that's deep as fuck. Be loved and stop being mad. Let that shit go. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all uh, let me know examples of any situations that y'all been through. Just let me know. Give me the tea. Let me know what's tea. Let me know what's up. And um, yes, keep a vibration high on this vibration relationship, period. Straight like that. <laughs> that was good.
I know these hoes wanna be me Blue face bands to the bank, I'm a kiki Shitting on hoes cause I can't and it please me I always knew I would be rich I came from the bottom, now I'm at the top of their list 